So TRAPPIST-1 is a system of three planets, all more massive than the Earth, which orbit a star which is perhaps one-twelfth the mass of the Sun. And this is exciting because we've never seen a planetary system around this type of star before. And in particular, the, the lowest mass stars are also the most frequently occurring stars in the galaxy. And so this might be the first example of you know, the typical planetary system in the sense that it's the type of planetary system known around the most common type of star. So the, the, there are three planets in the system. The closest two are inside the habitable zone. They're much too hot. But the most distant planet, which is also the biggest and perhaps least Earth-like, might actually be in the habitable zone. So this planet, I'm sorry, this planetary system is, so 39 light years away is not especially close, especially for, a, the star is so low mass, it's also very dim. It turns out that the brightness of a star, at least how bright intrinsically a star is, is proportional to how massive it is. And so because this star is so faint, it could be, uh, it's not, certainly not impossible, but it would be more difficult to, to measure the properties of these planets than it would be if the star was somewhat brighter. So for example, the only data we have about this system comes from observing them with the transit technique. The host star right now is too faint to observe with the Doppler technique, and so we don't know how massive the planets are. We know how big they are, but we don't know how massive they are, and so we don't know their density, we don't know what they're made of. And so this is obviously a very exciting discovery, but it's going to take a lot more work to fully exploit it. 